Hello everybody, this is Scott Hudspeth with Agent Mastermind. Welcome to the class today. And I'm excited, honored, and just thrilled to be here. This is probably one of the most exciting times of my week, except for the weekends when I get to spend time with my family, of course. But uh, welcome, welcome, excited. If you uh, are joining us for the first time, welcome, of course. So glad to have you here, and I hope you get something out of this class today, a little nugget or just something that helps you grow your business today and in the future. So uh, let's just get started. So you're on Agent Mastermind, the largest online real estate training in the nation. So if you are here for the first time and haven't joined our Facebook group, you can find that at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Agent Mastermind. You can see we're approaching 3,600 people. I really uh, enjoy the conversations going on in there, questions going on in there. Um, people kind of getting to know each other, just just really good stuff. So if you uh, are here for the first time and have not joined our Facebook page, you can find us at facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Agent Mastermind. Last couple of classes that we did, we called it Gbox Zero, getting out of your inbox. Evernote.com was a week before that. The week before that was marketing to expires using results and band strategy. The week before that was phone burner, and the week before that was farming your database. Now, if you want a copy of the recording or any of these PowerPoints, get with the loan professional that sent you here to this recording right now, and they will be more than happy to get you a copy of either one of these or all of these, okay? Hey, hey Scotty, before we get yes. going here, we're having some issues with your audio. They say it's okay. breaking up. I think you just need to turn your volume down a little bit or not sit okay. so close to it. Let me do this. Let me. I'm going to just really quick dial in on my other phone. Wait a minute. There we go. Is that, is that better? Um, it sounds more echoey to me. I don't know. How, how, listeners, how many, uh, is that better? Whoops. They say it sounds like a tunnel. Worse, worse, no. Oh, worse? Okay, all right. Let me just, I'm going to hang up and call right back. One sec. Okay. Sorry about that, folks. We're just, uh, little technical difficulties here, so we'll get this taken care of right away for you, and we will continue. Okay, let me just turn down my volume a little bit. How's that, Mike? Yeah, it sounds good. Just, yeah, maybe just sit a back better. a little bit. Yep. People okay, cool. Better. Sure. All right, guys. So um, those are the last classes. If you want to get a copy of those, get with the loan professional that sent you here. And a friendly reminder, this is a big one. We are not in the marketing. We are in the marketing to our database. We're not in the real estate business. So it's the last couple weeks, the last couple months, actually, have been putting people into your database, but then... What do you do with them? So I want to share with you guys a really, really cool way, inexpensive way to stay in front of your database. Put them in a, a, an order of where they're at and all kinds of fun stuff. So that's kind of where I'm going today. More database stuff, uh, a little bit of CRM stuff. Customer relations management is what CRM stands for. I'm going to talk a little bit about how to take people from different social media sites and put them into your CRM or Google Docs system. So. Marketing to your database. This is what Carl White covered not too long ago, where he kind of had a, this is what you should be doing on a monthly basis, weekly basis, email basis, snail mail basis. So call three to four times a year, email automatically once a week, snail mail once a month, friend on Facebook, like, interact, and engage with them on Facebook. Uh, Facebook's just so huge. But if you're, if you're always selling stuff on Facebook, you're going to lose followers. So what I would, you know, we always recommend to interact and engage, like their posts, comment on their posts, stuff like that. And then custom Facebook audience, Facebook ads, so that's another one. Get with your loan professional on that, and he can share that with you, okay? So what about people that haven't spoken to you in a few years? Now, we're going to talk about that, because I think this is, this is a huge deal. Now, I, I just talked to a good friend of mine who talked to an agent that had three, uh, excuse me, a thousand people in their database, and they're doing, they, they have an extremely good business, okay? But they're not following up with their database. They don't know what to say. They think, well, man, I haven't called them in a long time, and th this is the response you're going to get. So when, when you call them, they're going to go, why are you calling me? Stop calling me. That's, that's not what's going to happen. And guess what? They're not sitting around going, I can't believe 
that that person that sold me my home hasn't called me in like forever. I, they, there's, it's just not how it is, okay? So get over that fear. Go back, get with the loan professional that's sending you here to get a copy of the, uh, of the uh, Farming Your Database. It's a really good one. Now, phone burner. If you have more than 200 people in your database, this is like crack for a database, okay? It's an, an amazing system that Carl talked about. We did a class on this. Um, if you want, use the word freedom to get a discount on it, and we'll um, go back and watch the class, and you'll see why this is so, so powerful. If you have 200 people in your database, it just saves you so much time, okay? Imagine what your business would look like if you made an additional 100 calls a month and all took a total of about two and two to three hours or about one and a half hour or 15 minutes a week. It would be an amazing thing, right? Because you're just on the phone building relationships, going deeper with them. That's what we're going to talk about. So again, to get a copy of the PowerPoint of today or any other previous class, get with the loan professional to sit here and we'll make sure that happens for you. So full disclosure. And I'm always transparent, but I just want to be really transparent on this one. I have no affiliation with the two systems I'm about to share with you. I just I like them a lot. And I've been using them a long time. I use them every single day of my life. They've allowed me freedom to not have to worry about where the lead is, who's taking care of it, and I've been able to delegate stuff. So that's kind of what I'm going to share with you right now. You can take the kind out of that. That's what I'm going to share with you. So last week we shared with you Gmail. And we covered how to archive, how to uh, put stuff in folders, how to get stuff out of your inbox, how to hide the spam, all that kind of stuff. I'm a huge person, or I mean, I'm a huge on finding ways to do stuff inside of the stuff that we use on a daily basis, which one is our inbox. We're always there. It's everywhere, right? So why not find something that someone has made that allows us to go inside our inbox and save stuff to a CRM or save stuff to a database management system or some way allows us to get out of there, put people where they're supposed to be so we can follow up with them correctly, and it allows us to focus on money-making activities. But it also allows us to enjoy more freedom and family time. So stay with me here, okay? I'm not trying to bore you, but the one I'm going to talk about right now, this, I just absolutely love this thing. It's called Acquire, E-C-Q-U-I-R-E.com. Now, don't go there because I don't want you to miss how this actually works and how you can use Acquire. Now, again, I have no affiliation to Acquire. I just use it because it's it's so awesome, and when I show you what I mean by that, I think you're going to think that too. Now, if this doesn't work for you, find some way, shape, or form to do what I'm about to show you, which is keep up on your database, follow up with your database, or hire someone to do it for you. And I'm that's I'm going to show you how you can delegate stuff like that as well. So, Equire is what I'm going to show with you. This little button right here is going to be your new best friend, and I'm going to show you why it's going to be your new best friend, because it shows up everywhere, Facebook, LinkedIn, inside your Gmail, all right, and I'm sure it works on any email system, but I know for sure it works in Gmail, so it's going to be your new best friend, Gmail, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, it allows you to take people from all these platforms and put them inside your database or CRM system, and one I'm going to show you is Google Docs. The other one I'm going to show you is another one that I'll share with you in just a minute. Okay, so eQuire is extremely cheap, and for starters, it's nine dollars a month, and professional, it's nineteen. Now, I have the professional version just because I want to be able to connect with a database system that I'm going to share with you that I think you'll love. I absolutely freaking love it, and I'm going to share it with you today. So again, I have no affiliation to these. It's just what I use and what other people have shown me they like and used. So I'm taking it from a third-party verification as well, okay? So extremely cheap. I know that there's real estate juggler, and there's I mean there's all kinds of real estate CRM systems I think that are great. I just I just prefer to do stuff inside where I'm at most of the time, which is inside Gmail, inside uh, of that on a daily basis, okay? So let's just kind of I'm going to go live to this right here. I got it up on my screen. And I'm going to show you how to add this acquire. And you get to have, I think it's a 14-day free trial. So when you go here, it shows how it works. You can go there. The pricing is what I just showed you. And then it has partners and integrations. Check this out. So it works with more than just those four that I shared with you, but those were the most important to me, was the Twitter, Gmail, Facebook, and LinkedIn. And then the download is right here. So you download for free. And what it does, I'm going to show you this is so cool. So when you, when you actually, oops, I clicked the wrong one. When you download this, it actually pops up this little box right here and you just add it to your toll bar. And stay with me here, because this is really cool stuff, OK? So let me just go back to the PowerPoint here. So that's the Add button. 
Now, here's the cool part about I'm going to go right live to Gmail, but let me just share with you something really quick. Is um, it when inside your inbox, it actually throws up this little bar. So when you want to put someone inside of your database system, or you want to make sure you follow up with them, and you want to have them in a place that allows you to keep track of them and take notes and automatically update your notes. Let me just show you how this, how cool this is, and why I like this so much. So I'm going to just open up my Gmail, and let's just say Eugene. I want to actually add Eugene to Equire. Now, see this little button? Remember I said this little button is going to be your new best friend? See this right here? Now, this works one of two ways. One is I could respond to Eugene, and it's going to pop up that little bar that I shared with you. Now, I'm going to show you what that little bar does when you click Review, is it allows you to add it to a couple things. And so I'm just going to click on it. Can everybody, Karen, can everybody see that? Can you see that little bar right there? We're having a... Uh... I can, I can, but a number of people are saying that your screen's not moving, and then we've got other people reporting audio issues. Um, okay. But but it's it's about half and half. So yeah, I mean, some people are are saying yeah, every a lot of people are saying all good, and a lot of people are saying yeah, I'm having issues. So if you're having an issue, try logging out of the webinar and then coming back in clicking on on your link okay yeah so a lot of people are saying everything's all fine so yep we can see it Scotty. okay okay good 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 okay so um, I, so the only thing I can recommend is if you are listening to this through your speaker on your computer is you're fighting the internet so what I would highly recommend is let me just take a little I think I can take a little screenshot here yeah I can okay so I can take a little screenshot so on the uh, on your little board you have this little let me just show you here um, to go. That didn't work. Okay, let me try this one more time. Sorry about that little interruption here. You guys will, it's well worth your time though. But if you, oh here it is. So if you guys are um, having issues, go ahead and click this little thing right here that's actually, it says audio, and then click telephone, and then call in on the number that it gives you. And I think you'll have a lot better quality when listening to these webinars, because right now you're fighting the internet over your speakers. And is if there's any intermittent at all, it uh, it'll break up on you. So try that. Let me know how it works, and um, you won't miss that much. We're recording it anyway, so you can have a, a copy of the recording. Okay. So check this out. So it sets inside your inbox. This is what I love the most about this. So if you're not using Gmail, you're not using Google Docs, you're going to probably want to do this because this is why. So I'm going to click on this right here. Okay. And when I click on it, what happens? It spins for just a second, and then it opens up to this amazing little bar over on the right hand side. And gives me his name, first name, email address, and then his company, and then his phone number. Now, if I want to edit, I just click in the box. Of course, that's not the right number. But I can put his number in there. I can put his address in there. I can put the role of that person. I can put notes if I want to right there inside. See, I haven't left my inbox yet, and that's what I love about this. Um, you can put a subject in there. The subject is the subject of the email and then the body of the email. So this is going to keep track of everything that I'm doing with this person. So. As a buyer, this is so important that you get them into something where you can keep track of them. So see how I have two separate tabs up here. And it defaults to Google Docs, OK, or Google Drive, for, for that matter. And I'm going to show you what that is. Google Drive is 100% free. And so what it allows me to do is submit all of this information. And I'm just going to put in here 269 555 it allows me to put his information here and then submit to Google Docs. Now, there's a little button down here that says auto submit future messages to Eugene. So if, I, if I'm sending emails back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, it's going to automatically auto submit to my Google Doc link of Eugene Antonelli, OK? So you never have to keep track of what's going back and forth, what was said. It's kind of cool. So I'm going to not check that box. So I'm going to submit to Google Docs. Let me just share with you. So it's updating Google Docs. Let me just open the docs here and show you what happens. So when you first set this up, the cool part about this is it sets up a doc for you inside. It says, my important contacts. You can call it whatever you want. And when you set up the actual acquire inside of anything, Facebook, LinkedIn, or whatever, it's going to allow you to do the same thing. So check this out. So if I click on my important contacts, it's live. So it automatically puts Eugene in there, his phone number what the email was back and forth, and the time and date that, that we actually did something inside our inbox, OK? Pretty cool. So I can literally keep going on this, keep adding people to it, 
and add whatever I want, edit whatever I want, okay? P pretty cool stuff. Now, check this out. So say I'm in Facebook, and I want to, and Carl White's a buddy of mine, I go to Carl White's page, and I click on the About section, okay? Guess what pops up? Hopefully, unless I'm a liar. There's my new best friend. See this little thing right there? So I want to click on that little, that little thing right there, and then over to the right pops up my friend Carl, White, the marketing animals, 802, puts his address in there. If I have his phone number, I can add it, but then I can submit that to Google Docs as well. So no matter where I'm at on the web, whether I'm in my inbox, whether I'm on Facebook, whether I'm in LinkedIn, no matter where I'm at, LinkedIn's the exact same way. Check this out. So I'm in LinkedIn. I want to add somebody to my database, and I don't want to have to open something else up, type in their information. I want to take as much information as I can. So let's just go and see if I have any. I think I saved a couple yesterday. So I have a couple invitations. Check this out. This is way cool, especially in LinkedIn. So Keith wants to be wants to connect with me. So I'm going to accept Keith, and then I'm going to click on Keith to see, okay, who is Keith? So I'm going to click on him, and he might be on the call right now. So I'm going to view profile, and my new best friend shows up over on the right hand side. See that? So say Keith is a new buyer or a new seller and I want to make sure that I get him into some sort of tracking to where I can really look through my database, see when I called them, when I didn't call them, if I called them, what I did, whatever I want to do. So in LinkedIn, I'm going to click on this. He's getting a little exposure right now, Franklin Title Agency. Look what happens. So Franklin Title Agency, Keith, his email address, his cell phone number, Greater Detroit area tells me where he's at, tells me his role, and it puts notes in here, providing title insurance. Click Submit to Google Docs. It automatically puts them in my Google Docs like instantly. As fast as I can click there and click on My Contacts is as fast as I can see that Keith is not now in my database inside Google Docs. Now, here's the cool thing about Google Docs. Google Docs is in the clouds. You can access it from anybody's computer. Any mobile device, you can access it from your phones, your droids, your iPads, your tablets, no matter where. It's all accessible online, so you always, always, always have your database with you, which I think is really cool. Any questions on that part, Karen? Yeah, a couple people are asking, does it work with Outlook? And I assume the answer is no, because you're incorporating it into Google Docs. Um, Outlook, well, see, there's other ways you can incorporate it into, and I, and I don't know if it works with Outlook or not, um, but I know that if you, you can have a Google Doc account without having a Gmail, and you just have to sign up for Google stuff, and I would highly recommend that anyway. So you could have the best of both worlds, Outlook with Google, so you can still have it go to your Google Docs because you, can, you just have it linked to your Google Doc, and it asks you to log in to your Google account when you, when you sync your Acquire account. Make sense? Absolutely, absolutely. Do you know, does it sync with Google Contacts? It, um, it, this part actually doesn't sync with Google Contacts, but it allows you to put people in your Google Docs or other forms of uh, ways to keep track of your contacts. Okay, cool. And then one other question on that pop-up, can you customize that and add other additional fields? Uh, I haven't actually added anything to it to play around with that. So if I wanted to add something, there's see this little see inside Google Docs. This is pretty cool. There's little ways to edit this. So what I would do if I was going to add anything is I would add them to the right so it wouldn't mess with it. So I would click on this and it says insert insert to the left or to the right. So if I insert to the right, it's not going to mess with anything that's coming in through Acquire because it's syncing with this doc. It's synced with it. So if I wanted to put in um, uh, sent approval letter or um, under contract or whatever you want to do there. You could add those as well. Or last talk to him, last uh, talk to you. You could do anything you want. And you could keep adding as many as you want to of these. So you could add the, you know, different things to it that way. Okay. I think, I think they meant on the uh, little Equire pop-up that you had on the right okay. side of Gmail. I, I mean, you may okay. be able to customize that and add specific fields to that. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Right, um, right down here it says more fields. Perfect. There I you think, go. Um, yep. Well, actually, I don't think you can add more fields to it. I think it just gives you the basics. So, okay. And guys, this is it's so cheap. So it's 19 bucks, and it puts it in Google Docs. So it's not – the next one I'm going to show you is, like, way cool, like the next step up, more of a CRM system, more of a follow-up. But Google Docs is free, so it allows you to connect with Google Docs and do it that way. And the next way I'm going to show you is a little more 
uh, advanced, if you will. All right? Very, very cool. Okay. So some way, shape, or form, you've got to have ways to get them into your uh, platform of where you can see them all the time. So I'm going to go, I'm going to just go back to here. So um, this box shows up. I showed you that. So I, again, it kind of walks through how to do this, and I take pictures of each step. So if you have questions, just get with your loan professional to, to get a copy of this, and it'll kind of walk you through it. I would play with it. So um, you can use it on Facebook. I showed you. If you click on the About section, it lets you add stuff to the, um, to, from the About section. Use the LinkedIn. I showed you that, which is way cool. So a car creates a folder in your Google Docs. I showed you that. Did that. Did that. So for the next one, this one is like my personal favorite. And as, after you see it, you'll see why. Whether it works for you, um, I think it will. I think you'll love it. It's $9 a month to use it per user. So it's extremely, extremely cheap and <laughs> extremely easy to use. But this Bitly link, and I tried to use like a bud URL to have it go there, but it said that it was there was something wrong with it. So I would highly recommend writing this down if you want to try this out for 60 days. You get 60 day trial, you get an extra 30 days. So you get 30 days if you go right to this this the system I'm going to share with you. If you use this Bitly link, you get 60 days. Okay, pretty cool. All right, bit.ly forward slash K B U T N P. I don't think the capitals matter, do they? Karen? Capitals don't matter, do they? No. I don't know why they would. So Alright, so the one I'm going to show you now is called Pipe Drive. Pipe Drive is in my in my standards amazing. So let me just show you what I'm what what I mean by that. So let me just go in here and kind of show you the overview of Pipe Drive, okay? So and the cool part about Pipe Drive, what I do, okay, I close out. The cool part about PipeDrive is it syncs with Acquire. So you can automatically put stuff into your PipeDrive automatically through your email system. Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Check this out. So again, I'm going to use Eugene. I'm going to click on my new best friend. Everybody's going to click on that and go, that's my new best friend. <laughs> and then see that here, the, up here on the top it says it has the little Google Docs thing. Well, right next to it is pipe drive, all right? So, and all you got to do is, is add pipe drive. There's a real easy way to do it is just click up here, and it says cloud services, and then you add whichever one you want to add to it. So Google Docs is the one I added, and I have pipe drive. They're, they're both checked. If you want to add MailChimp or Stride or HiRise or Salesforce, you can do any of those. So check this out. All right, so I'm inside here. I want to add it to pipe drive. And I'm um, inside the pipeline. I have a couple pipelines. I have ABC Real Estate, and then I have a seller in process. So I just want to show you a couple examples. So check this out. So I want to have it in go, go inside ABC Real Estate, which would be the, your company name. I want to have it go inside as a buyer lead or a buyer under contract or a buyer, buyer with a sales agreement or a seller lead, or a seller, um, <clears throat> like a new listing, or a, uh, under contract, home under contract, or home listed. So wherever, you can, and you can add or subtract, or however many you want of these, but you can put them in wherever you want. So let's just say they're a buyer lead. Let's say Eugene is going to buy a home. He contacted me, shot me an email saying, hey, Scott, I want to see some new homes. I'm going to add them to ABC Real Estate, and I'm going to add them to the buyer lead. And I'm gonna, I got his information here, and I'm gonna click Submit to Pipe Drive, okay? Now, this is so cool. So I go over to Pipe Drive, and I just refresh this. Here's, here he is right here. Click on it. Here's Eugene, here's his name. So what I would do is, instead of have a SMP rate, I would probably just change his name to Eugene, and click Save. Check this out, so inside here I have all my different categories of what I want and where they're at in the transaction. So say they're a buyer lead and the buyer decides to go under contract and we write an offer on a home. Okay? So all I have to do inside here is take Eugene, left click and drag him. Can you guys see this? You see that okay, Karen? Yes. See how that lights up see how it kind of goes gray? And I drop him in there. So automatically, Eugene goes from a buyer lead to a buyer under contract. I can very quickly look on my screen and see I have 200,000 in buyer leads. Uh, and if you put the numbers in here, I don't have numbers for Kelly. Let's just go and put, let's just open up Kelly. So expected close date. Expected close date, let's just say it's March 12th. 
There we go. And I have, let's see, edit, uh, organization, phone, email. So if you want to put their phone and email in here, you just click on phone and you have a work or you can add a number. That's done. And then customize if you want. You can customize it if you want to go there. Let me just show you a couple other things before I go ahead of myself. So now Kelly, the buyer, is here. Steve, Kelly, and I, I guess I put too many Kellys in there. But wherever I want to put them, I can slide them back and forth. Okay? Here's the cool part I love about this. And, and it, I mean, there's so many think, cool things. But one is I can get a real quick visual and dollar amount of what I have going on inside of my database that are live. People that come in, my buyers, my sellers. Um, it, where, where, wherever they're at in the transaction. Here's the cool part. If you want to make another pipe drive, there's a drop down right here, which I'll show you how to do this in just a second. But say that you have sellers in process and you have uh, a contract for that. So you have under contract, you have entered into the MLS, marketing, marketing the listing, offering contract, loan in process, closing preparations. So you can literally set up all kinds of different steps throughout the transaction for each real estate process and know exactly where you're at and have your team know exactly where you're at during the process, okay? Make sense? That's pretty cool. And the, uh, the other cool part about this is I, is I should, should show you the phone app, but it has a phone app that goes with it. So on the phone app, it shows me my buyer leads. It shows me my buyer's under contract. So I just literally slide right to right. It's really cool, and it shows me where each one is at, and I can very quickly call if I have their information, their, their name and number in there. So here's how easy it is to just go right to PipeDrive and add one if I don't want to add them through Gmail, Facebook, or LinkedIn. Check this out. So I click Add a Deal, and this gets fun. So I'm just going to put Karen. Uh, let's just put caller a uh, seller, buyer. All right, I'm going to put her phone number in there, email address. I don't need any of this stuff. I'm going to put the deal value. So let's say Karen calls me up on a $125,000 home. All right, I'm going to put $125,000 in there. I'm going to click Save. She automatically gets added to the buyer lead. Let's say that Karen gets a contract, so I move her over to here. And let's say that I have someone else take over once they're under contract, like let's say Vicki, for example. And I want to make sure that Vicki calls her within the next couple hours to congratulate her that she has a contract or you know, let her kind of know the next step when we make an offer, how long, like kind of what happens. So I'm going to click on Karen. Inside here, it has all the notes that I ever want to take in here, OK? It has the next no, um, an activity. If I want to schedule an activity for myself or for another person that's part of my team, and I want to, and I want to make sure that they're added to the followers. So everything that happens inside Karen I want to add Vicky to it. See, so you add someone, and if you have an assistant or a partner, this is really cool. So I can add Vicky Rice, and I can set Vicky up so that anything that any notes that I take inside here for this borrower, Vicky gets an email on it when when it happens. Okay. So then I want Vicky to take over this file, and I want to give her a task to do. I don't want to go, hey, Vicky, do this, or send her an email. I want to do it right inside here so I can see that it's done. And when Vicky marks it done, I want to get notified that it's done so I can keep track of it. Accountability is huge, right? So I have a task for Vicky. And let's just say um, that it's uh, introduction. And Vicky and I have this little form where the introduction means that she's going to call and introduce herself. She's going to call and say, hey, my name is Vicky, and I'm the one that takes it from once we have a signed contract all the way through completion. So if you have any questions, I'm the one you need to contact. And here's what I do. Here's how I do it. Here's the updates that I'm going to give you, stuff like that. So I'm going to put introduction. I'm going to choose a little assign to Vicki. I'm going to give it a date. So I'm going to say I want it done by tomorrow, or if I want it done by today, but before the end of the day. I'm going to say I want it done by 3 o'clock. And Vicki, it's probably going to take you 30 minutes. And I'm going to click Save. So Vicky logs in, or she she sees that her, in her activities something pops up, and it says she has an activity now that she has to do, and it's due within two hours. Isn't that pretty cool, Karen? Yeah, it's way cool. All right. Some other things you can do is you can make a phone call. What's that? 
I said, yeah, it's, it's definitely cool. Everybody, everybody's really digging this one. Cool. Is there any questions on this as far as what I've covered so far? A couple. I've been answering a number of um, okay. um Yeah, I think we're I think we're good at this point. Okay, cool. Okay, good. All right. So um, this is a, this is the other cool part. So say you want to have an idea of like what's going on. Like you have like statistics. You could always look at your personal. Um, you can do stuff like that. Here's here's the other. So it shows you. Uh, how many deals you won, how many deals you lost, new deals started, like what the volume is. If you put the dollar amount in there, it shows you the dollar amount. So you can really quickly see how much volume you have in each column, which is really cool. $9 a week this costs, or excuse me, $9 a month. So it's extremely cheap. Per, it's $9 per user. It's just insane. So here's pipeline, pipeline matrix. So it said I, I added eight new deals. Um, so it, sh it shows how long they were in that stage. Here's the cool part. So say you add someone to the buyer lead and they're sitting here and like nothing's happened for a really long time. It'll say this Kelly buyer, like right here when you open it up it says um, no previous activity. It says Stacy is, oh, so I just added her. So she's been a deal. She last updated today. So it kind of shows you, but it keeps track of how long they've been in this status. And I just kind of created this for you as a demo. Um, so that's so that's kind of cool. The other part about this thing is cool is you can sync it to your calendar. So let's say that I want to I have an appointment with Karen, and I'm gonna meet with her tomorrow at three o'clock. Let me just show you kind of before I schedule that. Let me show you how this works. So I go to settings. So right up here, this is so easy to use. So I click on settings. That's the only one right there. And over on the right-hand side, you have a bunch of stuff. You have pipelines, which in here under pipelines, you can edit any one of these, or you can add a stage, or you can add a new pipeline. All right? And then you can add stages to the pipeline. So here's my seller process. I can delete the pipeline. I can edit the pipeline. I can do whatever I want. So there's pipelines, OK? If you want to set some goals for yourself, here's a goal section. Add your first goal. Maybe you want to close three transactions by the end of March, first quarter or six transactions, or 20, whatever it is, just add your first goal in there, and let's let, let's write it down. I'm real big on writing down my goals. What do I want to accomplish in 90 days? And then I'll redo it every 90 days. So if you want to add users, here's how you add users. Click on Add a User, put in their information. If I have three years, it's going to be $27 total. It's way cool. Customize fields. I haven't messed with this one, but you can, if you want to, um, if you want to, you can go crazy with it organizations and people, you can do all that fun stuff. Features, here's the couple features that I have in the PowerPoint as well. So email notifications. I want to get notified if Vicki ever puts any notes in the system or if she ever does anything with one of my clients that just, I just want to stay on top of it so I know what she does, what she says, when she says it, because I don't want to have to call and say the same things if she's already did that, right? Deal probability, that's not probably a big one for the real estate industry. Google Calendar Sync, make sure that's on so you can sync your calendars right from the system. Google Calendar Contacts. Um, here's where you can sync your contacts. Karen, you asked me that a little bit ago. You can literally pull all your 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 contacts in from Google automatically and have them inside your un, under the Contacts tab, which is right here. Okay. Very cool. Hey Scott, do you Email, know Dropbox? Does this program sync with Top Producer? I don't believe it syncs with Top Producer, but um, they're real good about so customer support. So if you wanted to email them and say, hey, you guys working on syncing with uh, Top Producer. Very cool. And then another another question a lot of people are asking is, do you have to have eQuire to have PipeDrive, or can you have PipeDrive? You do not. I didn't think so. no, okay. so. Yeah, you don't have to have one or the other. No. The reason I like both is because eQuire allows me to do whatever I want to do inside wherever I'm at, and I don't have to think about it. Now, if you, just, if you find an email address and you want to copy, paste, copy, paste, copy, paste, you're more than welcome to do that as well. But you don't need one or the other. Very good. Thank you. All right. I just like the two because they kind of tied together nice, and they're extremely – they're the same price as most people are paying for a lot of the um, CRM systems out there that are for real estate. So I thought, well, people are already sending and receiving emails. People are already trying to keep up with their database. So what a really cool way to tie them together because now I can take them from social media and put them all in one. Google Drive integration. Pipe, Pipe Drive um, deals with Google Drive integration two-way, so you can – Save documents to PipeDrive. You can um, use, I think you guys missed it, but um, no, here it is. Dropbox, if you have a Dropbox account, you can sync your own Dropbox account to it. Attach documents so everybody's in the loop with maybe the home inspection or 
pest inspection, sales agreement, appraisal, everything's in the loop. So it's available for your whole team, really cool. Um, email, API beta, I'm not sure what this is. Personal or organization field in dealing to others. Uh, uh, th this one I turned on so I can, when I'm adding a consumer or a client, I can add their number and email. Okay, so that's the only thing that that does. It gives you a little more, a couple more fields. Uh, multiple deal contacts, make sure you turn that on, which means if I, if Vicky's my partner and she takes over at a certain stage, I want to let her know about it and assign a task for her so when she comes in, she can check that out. And then deal routing is pretty cool. So if you turn on, when you add somebody, and I'll add somebody here in just a second and go through this, but if you add somebody and nothing happens in a while and you mark the deal routing, it'll actually flag you and go, hey, Scott, you haven't done anything with this lead. Do something with it. Call them, to, you know what I mean? So it actually flags you and says, hey, you forgot about me. So I really like that because that's probably one of the challenges we face is we're always chasing new leads or taking care of the ones that are on our plate today and forget about the ones yesterday, all right? Company settings, of course, those are all basic stuff. Um, you can assign what people see as you assign people as part of your team, what they can do and what they can do. Uh, if you want to tell a friend to have them do it, this is where you get the free 30 days. You get the little bit.ly there. If you want to import your database, I would just, and you, uh, you can import uh, right here from another software. It has a little video on how to do it. If you want to export your data ever to keep it you know, in somewhere else, you can do that as, as well. And then you get push notifications that you can play with. So a lot of different things there. Now there's more to it. Once you turn on all that stuff, you have your connections, which are all these, let's just see if what's in here. Okay, so there's a bunch of different really cool, I've played with a bunch of these, and trust me, this is kind of like my, I don't know, my sickness that I have is I go and check out each one of these and check it out, but I didn't feel any were uh, important for this class. Google Calendar, here's where I would enable Google Calendar Sync. So I'm going to enable that, and uh, I'm going to use this one, and I'm going to do the task, sync all events between Google Calendar and Pipedrive or only sync events added from Pipedrive. So I'm only going to do that. All right, and I'll show you how that works here in a second. If you want to add your Google Contacts, here's where you would do that. So you enable your contacts, and it would automatically pull all your contacts in from Google and put them under your contact section. All right, Google Drive is the same thing. If you want to use your Google Drive to attach documents or share documents, you can do it in there. Um, here's a big one. So activity reminder emails, I like to get notified every day. So if I have tasks, that I need to call this person, meet with this person, I need to send documents to this person, I need to do this, do that, do that. If you schedule them inside of Pipedrive, it's going to email you at 7 a.m. everything you have to do today. That's most important that you have scheduled as a task inside Pipedrive, okay? Notifications, replies to my updates, updates about deals I follow, updates about organizations I follow, updates about people I follow. So you are the person putting people in here. And I like to get them real time. So when somebody makes a note on somebody, I like to get notified right away. So if Vicky makes one, I have a couple other people that are part of my actual pipe drive system. Anytime anybody makes a note in there, I get notified about it. I can really quickly stay on top of the file and don't have to worry about where we're at on it. Love that part of the system. Okay? Your Dropbox, of course, uh, APIs, crazy stuff. You can actually build stuff for this if you want and then change your password. All right? So let's go back to this. Okay, here's um, a really cool part I like. Say that you got a Kevin buyer, and he buys the home, and you're like, I want him out of the loop because I know he's done, but I want to make sure that I can always follow up with him later on. So check this out. So I grab him, slide him. See at the very bottom where it says lost or one? See that? So if I put him in the one category, let him go. It removes him from here, but if I click on this little thing right here that says list, I can sort by all my one deals, all my lost deals, all open deals, all, and there's all my open deals. Um, so if I say, here's all the deals I won, so I could have somebody literally babysit this one, the ones that I won because I marked it as that, or the ones that I lost. Why did I lose them? Let's call and survey them and say, hey, what could I have done better? You know, what did I do? You know, whatever. Um, so you can really very easily track where you're at, how many deals you won, um, how many rotten deals you can see on that? I don't have any right now. More than three months old, you know, or you can create a new filter if you want to. So it's way cool, easy, very easy. It gets them out of your like main view on a daily basis, but they're still there available for you and your team to see 
the, uh, to make sure that you follow up with. Isn't that cool? All right. So let's just add a new deal and show you, kind of show you what I'm talking about. So if you want to add a deal, if you click this Add button, it actually adds them to this column right here. Say I want to add a seller to this deal right here. I don't want to start them on the buyer and then move them to the seller because then it shows that they, I moved them from the buyer lead to the seller lead. All I do is click on the top of this right here, double click, and it opens up the box for me. So I'm going to put Jeff Seller. I'm going to put his phone number in there. And I'm going to put, where is it, where to go? His email in here, buyer at gmail.com. And right down here, I'm going to, um, the deal title is anything you want it to be. I usually just put their name, and then I put the value. Say he's buying a $450,000 house, or he's selling a $450,000 house, okay? See how it automatically has me in the stage right here? You can choose the stage if you want to, but it's easy just to start right there. Expected close date, say that I want to make sure that this guy needs to move by the, the end of uh, April, so I'm going to put April 30th. And I want my entire team to see it, or I could just put owners only or followers only. So I'm going to put entire team so they all know that he's a new deal. And I click Save. So Jeff gets automatically added. Say that we get a contract next week, or say that I want to, I have a team in place where I have somebody send them a fruit basket. Uh, thank you for listening with us, or here's a $5 Starbucks card. Enjoy a cup of coffee on us. Look forward to working with you, whatever you want to do. You want to schedule that activity, so you go in here, schedule activity. <coughs> um, send Starbucks card. I want it as a task. I want to make sure to do it by tomorrow. Uh, the time, I want to do it by 1 p.m., and the link is going to take me 15 minutes. <coughs> So it's going to add this automatically to my calendar, which is pretty cool. Or I can add participants if I want, or I can have Vicky do it or if I want to. All right? So I'm going to click Save. Oops. Click Save. All right, there we go. You go to my calendar. Just close this out. So <clears throat> tomorrow is the 19th. Here's the, it's in my calendar to send the Starbucks card inside my calendar. All right, so it automatically syncs with my calendar. And then, of course, on my Gmail calendar, whatever calendar I use, I get alerts to make sure that I do that and then I don't check it off until it's done. And then when it's done, I go back in here, I click on it. This is going to turn red, by the way, and it actually shows up under your activities for the day if it's tomorrow. Of course, it's the 19th, so it's not going to show up today. But if I mark this today, if I just say I want to do it by today at 1, let's see, let's go past the time, let's go 3 o'clock today and take 15 minutes, <clears throat> it's going to change my calendar, but it's also going to put activities up and see that number one that showed up. So I click on that, and it's going to show me st send, send Starbucks card to Jeff today, 3 p.m. I can take a note, edit it, or I can delete it. Isn't this cool? Any questions on any of this? Yeah. We have a ton of questions coming through, but a good question just came okay. in, not, not that, they're, that they're all not great questions, but can you consolidate a client who is both buying and selling? Yeah, well, you, well, um, I, and I've never had to do that, but what you would do is you could, you can copy them or, or you can merge, merge this deal or duplicate. Very so cool. So what you could do is if I duplicate, I've never done this before, so let's just see. <clears throat> Duplicate for successful. Click go and newly created deal. So let's just see where it goes. So I have Kelly buyer, Kelly buyer. So what I would do is take one and put it over on the seller lead. So I'd have one Kelly and one Kelly there. So it would duplicate the files. Or let's just see if I want to merge one. So let's just see if I want to merge. Oops. <coughs> I want to merge. Um, Kelly deal. See, I'm, I haven't played with this, so I'm not sure on how to do that. Um, oh, there we go. Kelly, deal with Kelly, buyer, 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 they're all buyers. They're all buyers, though. Oh, the old, because their name's Kelly. So I'll just go like that, and then I would merge. Let's see what it does. We'll just break it. We'll try and break it, right? So Kelly, buyer there. Kelly, I, I wish I would have used a different name. But, yeah, you can merge and duplicate. Very cool. Cool. All right, what are the questions we have there? We need to get that Bitly link again. And a number that was just a sign-up link, right? 
It was. It was just a sign up link to try it out. So let me just go back to here and pop that up. So what do, so what do you guys think about this? Do you, do you guys like me showing? I've never really done this before, so I want some feedback on like what you guys think of like if you guys like me showing this product, or if you guys if I find other cool stuff that you can use to, um, you know, to, to to run your mortgage business. Do you guys do you guys like this stuff? What kind of feedback? Can you guys give me a little feedback on this stuff? I lost my thing, Karen. I can't see any comments. Yes, they love it. Love it, Scott. Awesome. Love it. We love it. Okay. Good. Yep. Good, all good all stuff. Right. Okay, good. So I guess the big, the big thing for me is just so that you guys have some way, shape, or form. Now, I, I'm, I'm a visual type guy. I don't like, I personally don't, you know, and some people might be different than me, but some people love the, the list type stuff. So if I was to change this to Deals F1, um, you know, and, I, and I, the, 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 this is great, and I can go in here and take notes, and I can, uh, like, even if I move them out of my site and they're not in the actual deals category, um, if I want to say that a Tom comes back and says, "Hey, Scott, uh, it's been two years, man, and I want to I want to sell my house now," so you have him in inside PipeDrive, and here he is, Tom, and I, he's a one deal, so he's no longer in the deals. Right here, it, there's a little reopen button. So if I reopen him, I can put him back into live status really quickly, very easily, and then start tracking him again, and then have tasks and people calling him and giving him free cool stuff and all that kind you know, of stuff. So there's just so many. I, I, I love the uh, – if you guys download the phone app, you guys can try this for 60 days, but if you download the phone app, it looks almost identical to this. Of course, you can't see the whole screen, but you can see – in fact, I can show you on my phone, I believe. Let me just see if I can do this. And, and while Scott's looking for that, um, that that bit bit dot ly link it, that is that is not working correctly. So uh -huh. we'll get the correct Bitly link and we'll post that on both of uh, on the Facebook groups. Okay, it, it's taking you to to something funny. So a number of people are saying that we'll get the correct one and we'll post it on Facebook for you. Yeah, oh, it works. That, it that's works weird, me. huh? Yeah. So it, maybe it is so case so sensitive. Uh, so yeah. So if you if you leave if you actually here, let me do this. Make it easier. Let's uh, leave the HT. Just do bit. dot ly forward slash kbu tnp kbu tnp. They give you a sixty day trial. So pretty cool. Yep, and it is case sensitive, so make sure you are using a case for those really? particular. Really? Oh, it is case sensitive. It is. Okay. Mm -hmm. all right. mm -hmm. So, all right, cool. So what I'll do is I'll post this on the um, uh, on the. How about if I just post it on the Facebook group, our private Facebook group? Would that be good? Perfect. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. Cool. All right, I'll post that on the private Facebook group after we're done here, so you guys can go there and check it out. And let's see. Uh, let's see. Okay, let me scroll down to the bottom here. Thanks, got it. What is the Facebook group? So the Facebook group, let me just add that for you. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash agent mastermind. Slide this back over, and I'll make it a little smaller. A little bigger. There we go. All right. So there's the Billy link. There's the private Facebook group. And um, I'm glad you guys liked it. I was a little nervous about showing a product, but I, I don't know. I, I just really like the way the use of this. It kind of, it totally fits the real estate industry. I like the fact that you can actually see how much volume you have in your database right now. How many how many buyers you have? How many sellers you have? How many buyers under contract? How many? like wherever they're at, and you can bring them in in any category, and you can have team members as part of it at a really in inexpensive format. You can have people helping you. You can delegate tasks. Um, the, I mean, the big thing for me is doing the money-making activities that you guys do best, which is meeting with people and sh you know building relationships, and then from there let your team do the rest. And if you have a platform that very easily allows you to see what's going on but also get emails to updates of notes taken and people that I talked to her and she said this and she's ready for this or she wants this or she has a friend that's looking to sell or whatever, you're getting all this stuff and it's all in one nice, nice, very simple platform. So that's why I wanted to share this with you. So I'm glad you liked it. 
All right. Anything else, Ken? A couple people were asking, what does SAA stand for in your pipe drive? Those are all customizable. You can make that anything you want. So oh, I told uh, them, you know, those are just samples that you put together. But a number of people were curious what that stands for. Uh, but <laughs> you know how when you think of abbreviations that I want to put on there? So it would be buyer under contract, buyer sales agreement. Um, I don't know. I forgot. <laughs> so I apologize. It was the he, it was like in the moment, and I'm like, okay, that sounds cool. I'll just abbreviate it instead of have a really long thing here. Yeah, sales yeah. Sales agreement. Uh, but, but that's sales car agreement. totally. Oh, sales, I, I, okay, I got it. Sales agreement accepted. There we there go. There you go. Sales there. agreement accepted. But again, those are totally customizable, so you can set that yeah. up to be whatever it is that suits you. And uh, right. somebody made a great suggestion as well, they, or a question. They said, can I do that for all my prospects as well? And I said, absolutely. absolutely. You can do you know, as many as you want. Yeah. There we go. So now if I change it, now it says that. Um, so that's, that's, I just abbreviated it so it didn't, it wasn't, I mean, not that that doesn't work, but I don't know. And and just to confirm as well, it's nine dollars per user. So if you're adding in your assistant, it's an additional nine dollars for them. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. And I have no affiliation to this. The only thing is, um, being that I have an account with them, I do. You get thirty days free, and then I, I if you if you use it, I get a you know I get free month or whatever, but it's nine bucks. You know, so it's so between. I mean, nine dollars is the cheapest. For me, it's the cheapest, coolest database management system I've ever seen to keep track of where people are at in the sales process or seller process, wherever you want to keep them. And it has so many, I mean, if you sync your contacts with it, um, you can pull all your contacts in. You can do anything you want with all of them. If you, here's the cool part is if you have a contact in there and you want to open a deal, you can just open a deal with them right there. So um, pretty cool, pretty cool. What's this one over here? I forgot what this one was right here. So timeline, here's the timeline. So February 0, March, so it shows you when stuff's supposed to close if you put in the correct date of when it's supposed to close. So you can kind of go, hmm, I'm going to have $489,000 in sales uh, but, you know, in March, and I'm going to have four fifty dollars in April. And, and then there's, there's so many cool stuff, so many cool things here. All right. Do you have to enter task every time each client? Can you create a plan that you have each time to add tests? Uh, yeah, for, I mean, because I mean, if you get to where now, you can get crazy with this. Let me just share with you. Um, I haven't done it, but if you want, there are features. Uh, where is it at? Let me find it here. Connections. So if you go to connections, if you go to settings, and then you go to connections, and say, you know, that was, a, you know, Shelly, that's a great question. So say you have five things that are done with each buyer, or you have five things that need to be done with each seller. This system right here, and I have not played with it, called Torpedo. They just started syncing with PipeDrive. Torpedo is a thing where you can actually, it's, um, got, a, it's got a Torpedo for PipeDrive users, and it allows you to automatically do, set up a task list when a buyer goes into a certain stage, which is pretty cool. So you could have it go into a stage and automatically go, all these things need to be done, and then assign to whoever. So... I haven't played with it though. I didn't want to get too crazy on you guys and have you guys hate me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Can you link more one contact to a group? Uh, yeah, you can link as many contacts as you want to a group or a person. So if you want to, I only have, I only used Vicky for an example. But if I wanted to say Sally, and I want to uh, add Vicky, if I had ten people here, I could add all ten people to this. To the followers, and then they would get notified. All right. Very cool. And honestly, everybody, I mean, we, there's a ton of questions coming through. We could sit here all afternoon and, and answer them all. I, my recommendation is that you, you know, you check it out. Like Scott said, with, with that link, it's a free trial, and so you know, you can get in there, check it out. They have great support. So if you need help with anything, you, you know, very easy to to get assistance and. And that way you can kind of dig around in there and, and, and feel for it. And then if you have any questions, you can always post them on the Agent Mastermind group where we can, we can help you out there as well. Absolutely, absolutely. So, yeah, if you um, join us on the Facebook group, if we missed any questions that you want answered, go there and we'll try and help you out there. 
Um, Acquire, Acquire e e ECQ UIRE has a 14-day free trial. So that's a really, really cool um, trial there. You can try it out. If you don't like it, just cancel it. No big deal. Um, Pipe Drive, of course, you get 60 days. So it's going to be, you're going to be into, what is this, February, March? You're going to be into April before you have to decide whether you like it or not or, you know, whatever. So yeah, if you get to using this stuff and go, man, I, how, what, what was the, what did you say about this? Just, just ask it on the private Facebook group and somebody will, I'm sure somebody, I mean, there's, there's a ton of people on this class. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of people trying it out. So if you have a question, say, hey, how did you do this or how do you do that or what do you think about this or throw ideas out there. If you guys have success stories with it, please share those as well. I mean, that would be great so other people can go, hey, I did this and did this and this happened. That would be great to hear that as well, all right? Okay, everybody, appreciate you guys. Appreciate you hanging out with us on Agent Mastermind, and we'll be here next week. Have an amazing guest on with you next week who has – transferred or tra what what how do you say it um her real estate business is 98 percent referral based i'm going to show you exactly how she's doing it and it'll um it's almost too simple i call it stupid simple and uh, we're going to share it with you we're going to show you the strategies we're going to show you what she's using how she's using it when she's using it and um can't wait to share with you so next week same time same place karen thank you so much for helping me with questions and we will see you guys, same place, same time, next week right here on Agent Mastermind. Have a great day, everybody. Be safe.